Hey guys, today's a super exciting day because we are going to start our e-bike battery build. Never built an e-bike battery before. The biggest battery that I've ever built is a 3S battery and they look like this. So I built a tiny little battery with small, with a small BMS and I'll have to show that to you sometime. But today we are going to be talking about a larger battery, 52 volts, um, lithium ion with Samsung 40T cells. So with any battery, you're gonna to have to have a battery management system, which, which we have, battery management system. We'll talk about that in a bit as well. And we have it all connected up. So let me show you the battery and then I'll kind of show you some other things as well. All right, here is the battery in all of its glory. Just kind of put together roughly. Um, it's seven by, it's seven by six and they're connected together with these little spacers right here. So I opted for the spacers because it does give you some space in between each of the batteries. I've seen people hot glue gun them together. These are uh, heat resistant, so if anything does go wrong with one of the cells, we'll be able to replace it, and also it probably won't overheat. We do get pretty hot here in St. George, so I wanted to make sure the cells could breathe just a little bit. Not sure how important that's gonna be. We're not pulling a lot of juice. We're only gonna be pulling 18 to 25 amps out of this thing. Not huge. And then it's gonna look something like this. So I've got positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. We are using, we're gonna do three parallel. So we're gonna have three of these. Um, these are Samsung 21700 cells, the 40T, so they're 4,000 milliamp hour. So we're gonna have three right here and then we're going to connect positive to negative and then move along. So you can see I've actually written down here the voltages. So they're 3.6 volts on, at the beginning I was doing 3.7 volts uh, just out of habit for lithium polymer battery. I did switch to 3.6 volts, so you'll see that. So apologize for that. But we're going from zero volts on here. So you'll see these three cells right here will be connected together and they will be zero volts. And we're just gonna go from zero to 3.6 to 3.6 to 7.2 and on to 10 to 14. So these two cells right here, the positive and negative, both of those are going to be 14.4 volts and we'll come to um, from 10 to 14 to 14 to 18 to 18 to 21 and so on. And then here is a little confusing. So we're gonna go, uh, hey Brie, we're gonna go start from zero and then we're gonna go to 7.2, 14.4, one sec, 21.6. Then once we hit here, we have to do something a little bit different. We have to go this direction. So we're, we are attaching negative to positive, but we need to put um, a connection here and a connection here and a connection here. And instead of putting a single strip across the top, what I'm gonna do, since we're gonna be flowing more current through it, I'm gonna be using you know, this stuff, the nickel, um, stuff and I'm going to be collect connecting these two together and then I'm going to connect these four together and then I'm going to connect these six together so we have plenty of amperage that can flow uh, this direction because when we're flowing this direction we're going to have a single connection for each battery we're going to have a single connection for all three batteries so I'm going to triple up the amount of um, the amount of nickel we have and once we do that then you can see we have the uh, the connection, so we have 25.2, 25.2 all on the bottom here, and then we're gonna go up to 28.8, and then we're gonna rotate back this way, and then we're gonna just do the other side. Same thing, 28 to 28 to 32 to 36, to all the way to 50.4 volts. And that's gonna be the battery. And I have right here a, uh, the connection we're gonna be using. So this is a, mini spot welder. It's a maple wise mini spot welder. So I purchased this exact one, the one with the maple, the equals on both sides and the wise maple. There are a few different versions of it. This is the one I got. We are gonna use a car battery. Since I don't have a spare car battery that's beefy enough, I am going to be using my truck battery. So it's gonna be great. I'm gonna connect it up to my, I'm just gonna take my battery out of the truck, I think. So then it's ready to go. And then we'll be able to 
go from there. So here's what, here's the battery we're using. I've got a case on it. Got to take all this stuff off. Okay. Anyway, that's what it looks like. We're going to connect it via an XT90 connection. This is, the XT90 is completely overkill. This is what connects to the battery itself. We have a couple of connections here and we have a fairly large connection. So it's just so we don't have any internal resistance to an XT90. XT90 to spot welder, spot welder to make spot welds. All right, we got the battery pulled out and hooked up. Such a cool battery. Has these little flared pieces on the bottom, just holds it on the bottom. It's really cool. All right, 12 volt, got it all connected up. Positive, positive, negative, negative. We have this thing running. We are at 30Q. Um, and we're, it's green, it's running at 12.7 volts right now. Looking good. We're gonna do some test spot welds and see how it goes. This may be heavily edited because, you know, I don't know how well you're gonna see this, but I don't really have a holder for my camera and that is what it is. There we go. We got it. Gonna do it again here, two of them. That's not going through, so it's not too much, but it's just enough to weld these together. It's perfect, love it. So that's how we're gonna spot weld everything together. So, enjoy this montage. So I'm working my way through this battery and something interesting is happening is these, uh, these leads, they heat up pretty good. So I can't go too fast. I have to uh, kind of pace myself. So I have it on auto, so I don't have to press any buttons, but as soon as it senses a connection, it'll do this. And it sends it over. So touched. So I'm doing two welds on each one. So each cell gets two of these. So this is the first one, the second one. So this is not the most flattering freeze frame of myself, but this is an important part of the build. See, at this point, we have some magic smoke coming up because we did something wrong. And what we did was we had a nickel strip. We were, we were putting three of those nickel strips on at a time to connect these in series and we accidentally connected two of the cells that were already connected together. Making that connection is a bad idea. That means all the current that is in all of the batteries we've connected so far flows over that one connection and it immediately turned white hot and broke the connection, which was fantastic because we didn't want that connected in the first place. So the nickel strip stuck to my finger and I slid it over as I was preparing to spot weld the next section. Super problematic, but you can see a tiny bit of smoke right there, and then I continued the build. Thankfully, I did check the battery pack. None of the batteries were damaged, so I didn't have to replace any of those, but definitely be careful, and I was connecting multiple nickel strips and then spot welding each one of them. In the future, I would just connect a single nickel strip or use some of those pre-connected nickel strips that are pretty sweet. All right, that's it for today. We got the 48 volt or the 52 volt battery pack all connected up. It's showing 48 volts because it's a little low on voltage at the moment. It's like at 20 to 30% capacity at the moment. We do need to do the BMS. That's gonna have to be for another day. We did have one little mishap. I had a strip of, uh, a strip of this and it was a small little strip like this and it stuck to my finger and I slid it over and it connected the wrong positive and negative terminals that were already connected up and it made a connection and there was <laughs> fire and sparks and it burned itself off extremely quickly and that's good because it saved my cells. Um, I did get burned a little bit, unfortunately. That was the only mishap. There are um, pre-connected pieces like this that come in like a little checkerboard pattern that you can find on Amazon. Yeah, definitely recommend those. That would be a lot easier than um, doing so many spot weld points because I did a ton of spot welding. And uh, yeah, honestly, 
I went from 12.7 volts in this battery down to um, 11.7. So that reminds me, I need to charge this, then put it back in my truck. So I need to charge it right now, which is what I'm going to do right after I turn this off. And that's it. So, so today's video, we were literally just um, doing the connection here. And I'll show you the finished product. Finished product looks like so. So our, our negative is here. We go this way. Once we hit this piece, we're going across this way. And it's kind of hard to see, but I actually connected up um, three strips because I needed to make sure that I had enough um, juice to go across all those. And we did the other side down to 52 volts. So if you want to see what it looks like in like a checkerboard pattern, that's what it looks like. So there are like um, things you can get online that already look like this and you just ding, 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 spot weld it on. That might be really nice because I had to do so much spot welding to get this to work and you can see that little part. <laughs> that was not good, but it's fine. The cells are fine. Uh, we're all good here. Next up, connect up the BMS. You do not want to connect up the BMS wrong as well, or there will be smoke. So we're going to try and not have any more magic smoke. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.